are heavyweights. Our co-main event, Stan, the man Longinitas. He's from Australia. As he gets set, Blanky, to take on Charlie, Mr. C, Archie, and I suppose the word flamboyant would fit there. Yes, it would. Uh, describing uh, Stan the Man Longinatus, they call him the Thunder from Down Under. Well, it's time feel for him to go ahead and rumble. No question about that. Up now, five rounds of heavyweight action. Stan the Man Longinatus, he is the United States Cruiserweight Champion. Tonight, his opponent, that man, Charlie, Mr. C. Archie. Number six in the world in the Cruiserweight division. And interestingly enough, Linky, that man right there, and Stan Longinitas coming into the ring right now are both moving up in weight for this heavyweight tilt tonight. Yeah, Phil, they're moving up from the cruiserweight division to the heavyweights. That man, Stan the Man Longinitas, is a real comer. Uh, there's a couple of promoters that came all the way up from Melbourne, Australia to see him perform here today. He's a real pride there in his homeland. At the same time, Charlie Archie is, is real respected in his own right. He's the type of guy that likes to come right out and jump on you. So it's going to be real interesting to see which one of these guys can get off first. Boy, just take a look at that tuxedo vest that the Thunder from Down Under is sporting. Full tails for this event as he goes over, acknowledges his opponent, Mr. C. Yeah, Stan's a real gentleman. He's known to be a gentleman in the ring and out of the ring. That's just his lifestyle. He got that off and made special for Ladies this bout. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the semifinal event of the evening. Heavyweights, five rounds. In the blue corner to my left from Albuquerque, New Mexico, with a record of 16 wins, one loss, 12 wins by knockout, Charlie, Mr. C. Archie. In the red corner from Melbourne, Australia. Undefeated in 10 bouts, one draw, seven wins by knockout. Thunder from down under, Stan the Man, Longanides. Our third man in the ring, Cecil Peoples. Longinitas, he is the shorter, the more compact of the two heavyweights in the ring, Blinky, but don't let that deceive you. He can move and move with lightning quick speed. I'll tell you, for a guy with his build, you wouldn't think that he can move the way he moves. He's quick, he's agile, both with his hands and his feet, and I think that uh, he's going to be able to go out there. If he can get off first, he's got a good chance of ending it early. Talking to him earlier, Phil, that was his strategy. Any questions? I tell you, I would not want to beat that man right there in the ring, in the diner, in the movie theater, nowhere. I'll tell you what, he, <laughs> he does he does got that look of love, don't Oh, I'm telling you, he does. There is the thunder from down under, from Melbourne, Australia, Stan Longinitas. The book on Charlie Archie, Mr. C, he likes to get off quickly, out of his corner in a hurry, and look at him going to town here. And he's known to have a tremendous body attack, and that's immediately what he does there with Stan. Then the man coming right back with a flurry of punches. And he connected. There go, there he goes. That was his plan. He said he wanted to come and get off first because he knows that Archie tries to do the same thing. Longinita strikes quickly here in the first 30 seconds of round one. Good overhand right. Longinitas on the move. Archie tries to counter with the leg kick. Now tries to sweep, can't do it. And Longinitas comes back with a left-right combination. Good. Left hand follows it with another right. And down goes Mr. C. He looks pretty wild, but I got to forget. They stopped the fight. They stopped it quick. I think that's a good decision by the referee because Archie did get up and his leg just wasn't going to hold him up no longer, Phil. And in incredible display of sheer power from Stan Longinitas as he pushes his record to 11-0 now with eight knockouts. And that was no slouch he put on the canvas tonight. No, it wasn't. Charlie Archie has fought in Japan. He's fought all over the world. He's got a record of 16-1 with 12 knockouts. Charlie Archie is a tough character. I'll tell you right now, I think that was both their plan to see who was in a strike first was going to be the winner tonight. Obviously, Stan the man, the thunder from down under came in ready to rumble. Now there is no question, Blinky, you put it very well. It was a test of manhood from the opening bell. Well, they didn't waste no time. You can see right here, Stan throws a right leg, 
and comes right back with the hook, right hand over the top, and Archie goes to the canvas. And that's a technique that, that a lot of the fighters are starting to, to learn to really uh, use is going low and then coming back high with the hand. Archie there comes with a right leg low. And Stan Connors with the right hand, he throws a defensive hill thrust trying to keep Longinatus off him, but Longinatus knows he's hurt and he looks like he just wanted to come back and get him on out of there. He and duplicated he the success he enjoyed earlier in round one with that second knockdown right there and ultimately a knockout for that man, Stan the man Longinatus. Boy, what a performance. You know, I've heard a few people talking about Stan the man and, and, and kind of the, he kind of likes the way it sounds, the, the Mike Tyson of kickboxing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's going to put a whole lot of people down if he can put those combinations together throughout his career. And make no mistake about it, uh, Longinita is definitely on the way up. And Charlie Archie knows he was beaten tonight by an outstanding Ladies fighter. Down the ring, we see so people stops about in 154 of round number one. The winner by a knockout. Thunder from down under, Stan, the man, Longanini. This fight will put Stan in line. His next fight will be for the North Finally American Stan title. Now, don't you dare go away. Our main event is up next. We're coming back.